Last left you in the Seychelles, I became the face of Maserati, which is super exciting. And I appeared in my sixth US Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue, which is a pretty big deal. And it was an amazing shoot, and uh, it's an amazing client to work with consistently. This year I shot with Daniela, and it was great to work with her because she brings an amazing fashion element to swimsuit, which I haven't done before. I also like that she's got a bit of a cool edginess to her which makes her interesting to work with. This year we decided to shoot um, in the spa section mostly, predominantly, that's where we based our story around and then we moved to the beach later. Daniela wanted to do something that was very romantic feeling and very sort of editorial-like, which really produced that unbelievably sexy shoot in the end. It was definitely the, uh, a great concept to work with and something very unique. Oh, yeah. We're singing songs beneath the tree. This year, in conjunction with World Swimsuit, I'm producing a line of swimsuits, a limited edition, just a few. And they were part of my story this year, which we shot. This one is actually one of them. And I decided I would bring someone who shoots me regularly, Derek Riker, with me to the island to help me with some extra shots, things I wanted to get done. I have to produce a substantial amount of content for social media these days, and I want to take every opportunity to be able to produce the best content, uh, not just selfies. <laughs> for this so I brought Derek along with me and we managed to get some incredible shots while we were on the island and then we had the opportunity to use the suits that World Swimsuit made and shoot some of our own stuff which was really exciting for us. I usually shoot as a team with my identical twin brother under the name the Riker Brothers but for this job uh, in the Maldives I got to come here by myself, I was the lucky one. We did a very early morning shoot which I think the hair and makeup people didn't really like us for that because their call time was 4.30, but we wanted to be ready for that early, early light. We, we basically got eight shots done before 6.30 this morning, which is the way I kind of like to work. And uh, we were done before breakfast when we met the rest of the team, so uh, it went amazing. It was clearly the light at that time of the day is incredible. Genevieve was perfect, and I just didn't screw it up, so that's pretty much all it, you know, that's all it takes.